Hello, I am Manish, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dublin. Today, I will show you the steps to improve the deliverability of emails that you send through Amazon Simple Email Service. Let's get started. Let's review the various reasons that an email sent using Amazon Simple Email Service might be marked as spam. A message placed in a spam folder indicates that Amazon SES successfully delivered the message to the recipient's mail server or ISP. However, Amazon SES can't see the parameters that the recipient's mail servers consider when it marks incoming emails as spam or allows emails to be delivered to the recipient's email accounts. It's the ISP that decides whether an email is a spam and it's the ISP that determines the mailbox placement. If the ISP flags the email message as spam, then the email might be placed in the recipient's spam or junk folder. There are several factors that can lead to an ISP flagging an email as spam, such as authentication. The email lacks authentication, such as domain keys identified mail, also called DKIM, or sender policy framework also known as SPF. Email content and quality, high bounce rate and complaint rate. Let's go over each of these. Authentication. Most ISPs that forward email traffic evaluate whether the email is legitimate. For example, ISPs determine whether an email is authenticated. Authentication requires senders to verify that they are the owner of the account that they use to send emails. In some cases, ISPs refuse to forward email that isn't authenticated. For optimal deliverability, it's a best practice to authenticate your emails. The fundamental authentication standards are Domain Keys Identified Mail DKIM is an email security standard to verify that an email claiming to originate from a specific domain was authorized by the owner of that domain. Sender Policy Framework SPF is an email validation standard that prevents email spoofing. SPF helps domain owners inform email providers the servers that are allowed to send emails on behalf of their domains. Domain-based message authentication, reporting, and confirmance. DMARC is an email authentication protocol that uses SPF and DKIM to detect and prevent email spoofing and phishing. To comply with DMARC, Messages must be authenticated using either SPF or DKIM. However, using both DKIM and SPF along with the DMARC provides the highest level of email authentication. Let's look at how to set up DKIM and SPF with Amazon SES. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the Amazon SES Console. Then, from the left panel, Navigate to Identities under Configuration. Let's verify a new domain, turn on DKIM and then specify a custom mail from domain to make sure that authenticated emails are sent from the domain. Choose the Create Identity button. Select Domain as the identity type. Specify the domain name. Now, select the checkbox for Use a custom mail from domain. Note that if you don't select this checkbox, then the messages that you send still pass SPF authentication because the mail from domain corresponds to the application that sent the mail, which in this case is SES. Amazon SES specifies a mail from domain for each message that is a subdomain of AmazonSES.com, and so the sending mail server for the message aligns with this domain. However, to make sure that your emails comply with DMARC through SPF, the from domain must match with the mail from domain. To do this, you must create a custom mail from domain. The mail from domain must be a subdomain of the parent domain of a verified identity. So you can specify any subdomain in the mail from domain. If you use Amazon Route 53 as your DNS provider, then you can select the checkbox to automatically publish the MX and SPF record required to verify the custom mail from domain. You can verify your domain in Amazon SES either using EasyDKIM or using Bring Your Own DKIM. When you use EasyDKIM, Amazon SES manages the public private key pair and its rotation. However, with Bring Your Own DKIM, 
you manage the public private key pair and the rotation. For now, let's verify the domain using EasyDKIM. Specify the DKIM signing key length. If you are using Route 53 as your DNS provider, then you can select the checkbox to automatically publish the three CNAME records that are required to verify the domain. Keep the DKIM signature as enable so that your emails are DKIM signed. Choose Create Identity. Because I am using Route 53 as the DNS provider of my domain, the records are automatically updated. This setting verifies the domain and custom mail from domain. If you are using a different DNS provider, expand Publish DNS Record. Then add all the three CNAME records in the DNS settings of your domain to verify the domain configured with EasyDKIM in SES. In the same way, view the DNS records that are required to verify the custom mail from domain and then add both the MX and TXT record. After you turn on DKIM and then add a custom mail from domain to make sure that your emails comply with DMARC, you can implement a policy similar to the following. This policy does two things. It tells email providers to send the mail to the spam folder if the mail fails authentication. It sends reports about all emails that failed authentication in a digest to mydmark report at example.com. Note. This DMARC policy uses relaxed alignment for both DKIM and SPF. Amazon SES requires that your sending domain uses a relaxed policy for both SPF and DKIM alignment. Email content and quality. After your emails are authenticated, make sure that you are sending high quality emails. High quality email is an email that recipients find valuable and want to receive. Before sending an email or message, imagine you are the recipient. Think about whether you would be excited to receive that particular communication in your own inbox. If the honest answer is anything less than an enthusiastic yes, then it's likely better to revise or reconsider sending it. ISPs can use their own content filters that scan emails for specific keywords, insecure links, links considered harmful, or links to domains that are different from the sender's domain. If an email receiver's content filters determine that your message content seems to be a spam or malicious email, your message might be flagged and then be directed to a spam folder. High bounce rate and complaint rate. When email receivers detect a high rate of hard bounces and complaints, they assume that you don't know your recipients well. As a result, a high bounce rate and high complaint rate can negatively affect the deliverability of sender's email messages. Because high bounces and complaints can also affect deliverability, it's a best practice to make sure that you have a minimal bounce and complaint rate. Amazon SES requires that you maintain a bounce rate below 2% and complaint rate below 0.1%. You can check the current bounce rate and complaint rate by navigating to the reputation metrics section in SES console. Finally, note that Amazon SES functions as an email relay agent. After it delivers the message to the recipient's mail server ISP, Amazon SES has no further control over the message and can't guarantee inbox placement. The ISP decides whether the email is classified as a spam and also determines its placement within the mailbox. If the ISP flags the email message as spam, then the email might end up in the recipient's spam or junk folder. If you made sure that you reviewed and followed these guidelines, and yet your emails still land in the spam or junk folder, your next step is to contact recipient's ISP to understand their filtering mechanisms. So now you know the steps to follow to improve the deliverability of emails that you send through Amazon SES. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.